This is a collection of excerpts from a wonderful book called Biomimicry, Innovation Inspired by Nature, written by the great biologist Janine Benyus, who coined the term biomimicry and popularized the concept. After 3.8 billion years of research and development, failures are fossils, and what surrounds us is the secret to our survival. In that time, life has learned to fly, circumnavigate the globe, live in the depths of the ocean and atop the highest peaks, craft miracle materials, light up the night, lasso the sun's energy, and build a self-reflective brain. Collectively, organisms have managed to turn rock and sea into a life-friendly home with steady temperatures and smoothly percolating cycles. In short, living things have done everything we want to do without guzzling fossil fuel, polluting the planet, or mortgaging their future. What better models could there be? Biomimicry is the conscious emulation of life's genius or innovation inspired by nature. In a society accustomed to dominating or improving nature, this respectful imitation is a radically new approach, a revolution really. Unlike the Industrial Revolution, the Biomimicry Revolution introduces an era based on not what we can extract from nature, but on what we can learn from her. Doing it nature's way has the potential to change the way we grow food, make materials, harness energy, heal ourselves, store information, and conduct business. In a biomimetic world, we would manufacture the way animals and plants do, using sun and simple compounds to produce totally biodegradable fibers, ceramics, plastics, and chemicals. Our farms modeled on prairies would be self-fertilizing and pest-resistant. To find new drugs or crops, we would consult animals and insects that have used the plants for millions of years to keep themselves healthy and nourished. In each case, nature would provide the models, solar cells copied from leaves, steely fibers woven spider style, shatterproof ceramics drawn from mother of pearl, cancer cures complements of chimpanzees, perennial grains inspired by tall grass, computers that signal like cells, and a closed-loop economy that takes its lessons from redwoods, coral reefs, and oak hickory forests. The biomimics are discovering what works in the natural world, and more importantly, what lasts. So the next time you're faced with a problem, then ask yourself, how did nature solve it? And this will sharpen your biomimicry lens. If you're interested in more specific examples and applications of biomimicry across various fields, then check out the website of the Biomimicry Institute, founded by Janine Benyus. They also have an amazing YouTube channel. More interestingly, biomimicry is not just limited to good design or materials, but rather can be applied to social movements, relationships, and communities. Our Changing Climate has a fantastic video on this topic, so I highly recommend checking that out. All the links are in the description below. If you found this video useful, Share this video with more people. Hit that subscribe button below for a lot more informative videos on environmental topics coming up. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm very grateful for your time and energy, and I hope to see you soon on a new video.